Hi, I'm Rachel Dreskin of Seasonal Brooklyn. Seasonal Brooklyn is a blog dedicated to bringing you recipe ideas and tips for using the freshest, most locally sourced, and sustainable ingredients. Now I'm going to show you a recipe for a roasted beet risotto. Uh, now beets, which are very seasonal right now, they're very sweet and also at the peak of their nutritional value as well, um, make a really nice complement to a creamy risotto. First I'm going to roast the beets. And I'm just going to take my kitchen shears and just slice off the stems and the leaves from the beets. Let's put these on a big sheet of foil on a baking dish. And I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of olive oil over the top. Give these a quick turn. And then I'm going to seal up the pouch here so that the beets are almost steaming as they're roasting in the oven. So I'm gonna transfer the baking sheet into a preheated 400 degree oven, and we're gonna let the beets roast in the oven for about an hour to an hour and a half. Once the beets have finished roasting, you'll take them out of the oven, let them cool completely first, and then you'll rub off the outer coating from the beet and chop them into a medium-sized dice. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the stock heated up back in this small pot back here. And right now I'm adding in two cups of stock and one and a half cups of filtered water. Now I'm gonna start with the actual risotto. So I'm gonna put my flame on about medium heat here on the front burner. And I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon or a little bit more of butter. So I'm gonna add in the chopped onion. And I'm gonna let the onion cook over medium heat until it's translucent, which will take about five to seven minutes. Now it's time to add in the aborio rice. Aborio rice is an Italian short grain rice, which is perfect for making risotto. So I'm gonna pour this into the pot with the sauteed onions and give this a stir. Now you wanna let the aborio rice toast for about a minute or so. First, I'm going to add in about a half a cup of a dry white wine. Now you can see that the rice has absorbed all of the wine already. So now it's time to start adding in the stock. And I'm going to add in the stock ladle by ladle. So you'll give the rice some time to absorb the liquid. Now one common myth about cooking risotto is that you have to stand here constantly stirring the risotto as it cooks. It's really not necessary. After you add in a ladle of stock, give it a stir, and then you can step away for a second. So at this point, I've added all of the hot liquid into the risotto and it's all been absorbed by the rice. So the risotto is perfect. It's nice and creamy, but still has a little bit of a bite to it, which is what we want. So at this point, I'm going to add in the beets that we had already roasted, peeled and cubed up. So I'm gonna add these right into the risotto. So as soon as I put the beets into the risotto, you're gonna see the risotto is gonna take on a gorgeous magenta hue. So it's really a beautiful dish to look at. Now that I have the beets stirred in, I'm gonna at this point add in my grated Parmesan cheese. This is about a half a cup or so, or probably a little more than that, but I really love cheese. So now I'm going to plate this up. I'm gonna finish it off by taking a little bit of uh, fresh goat cheese now this dish is kind of a play on that salad that we see all over the place. Uh, some kind of salad green with roasted beets, pistachios, and goat cheese. And then to finish off the dish, I'm gonna garnish it with some roughly chopped pistachios. And here we have the gorgeous roasted beet risotto with goat cheese and pistachios.